Hey you guys, what's up? Bumpy TV. So today we're we'll reacting to one of the suggestions, guys. Today we're we'll reacting to Christians claim you must have the Holy Spirit before you can understand the Bible. I met to that, guys. What do you think? I feel we're supposed to have the Holy Spirit, guys, because I feel if you read a passage two times, guys. You might get different things, guys. I think you're reading the Bible, you are like, you are reading the Word of God. So sometimes when you're reading the Bible, you're able to, I don't know the feeling how possible, like, you're able to communicate with God. Like, you're able to receive some messages out of it that isn't actually in it. Like, I don't know the way I will explain this to you. Like, I feel maybe when you're reading the Quran, you feel that way too. Like, when you're reading and... You, like your mind is taking you somewhere else guys like guys the feeling is crazy guys i can't explain it like i i don't have the right words for it guys let's get straight into this assalamu alaikum brothers and sisters i hope you all are in the best state of health and iman today's video is going to be about the very popular christian claim most of the christians claim that you must have the Holy Spirit before you can understand the Bible. They usually use this as a defense mechanism most of the times when they can't prove their points. So let's head on to the video and listen to Sheikh Didat refute their claim. Right? You too short, you like me. Please put the mic down, please. I would like to ask uh, when a person becomes a cabinet maker or a carpenter, there are laws to obey and principles before you can. You can't just take a piece of wood, otherwise you wouldn't know what to do. So the Bible teaches us that to interpret the scriptures, that uh, it's only by the Holy Spirit that we can interpret the scriptures. And uh, you can only uh, have the Spirit of God when you obey the God, when you obey the Lord. In other words, when I obey God's word, like for instance, you will know about Muhammad if you obey the Quran. So you can talk about Muhammad, now I just want to read to you. Yes, I look, you are putting a question now. Yeah, well, I just want to make my, my point clear. Yeah, in first, second Peter, uh, chapter 1, verse 21. For no... No, you must look, speak into the microphone. For no prophetic message ever came uh, just from the will of man, but men were under the control of the Holy Spirit as they spoke the message that came from God. And then uh, in the book of John, chapter 14... Uh. There's uh, 15. Brother, uh, could I no, just ask, it, it what, is... yeah, but what are you trying to prove or what question would you like to ask? Wait, I'll ask you now. I know that you've got support, you know, there in the text. Yes, but, uh, Could we get the question? Right, okay. The question is, if you become a, a bricklayer or a carpenter, you must, uh, do you have to obey the principles and the laws to become that? Or can you just become a bricklayer or a, or a carpenter? Robert, thank you very much. Can you answer me? Now, likewise, I would just make clear to you, you can't interpret God's word. If you don't obey God's word, then you won't have the spirit. So I would say then, any person that is not living according to the word of God, he's got no right to interpret the scriptures because here yeah, God says, it's only the spirit that will enlighten your mind and right, give you I, wisdom. I would, am I right then that if, not to get into that part of the argument, taking your word without going there, if I'm a Muslim and I haven't got the spirit which you speak of, and the yes. Bible is, as you say, for all mankind, yes. will I then not be able to understand or interpret it? Well, you can have the Bible, but Christ said, why do you call me Lord, Lord, and you don't obey me? It right. is only those who obey God that have the spirit. Thank so you. I'll read further. Thank you, brother. I think your point, and I don't doubt your next text, it will only be supporting the same thing. But could the, we, for uh, time's sake, could wait, we please wait. go on? But I, I feel the no person man? can interpret the word without the Spirit of God, see? So yes. if a person is not born again, right. then he doesn't have the Spirit. So he, either the devil will use him, no, or he will talk things out of his head. No, I don't, I don't doubt your, your thoughts on it, but I think we have got your, the picture. Yes. We will answer you. Could we go to the back, please? We'll only have three more questions after this, eh? Please. Now, Mr. Oh, we'll make it four because there are four standing. Could I excuse you, please, with the blazer? We'll have four more. Um, Mr. Didat? Did you hear that man's question? You didn't hear his question. You don't want me to answer. I heard his question. But then you don't I want me to answer. You okay, do not want me to answer. Answer. Sorry for that. Answer. 
This is an amazing situation. That our Christian brethren say that you must have the spirit before you can understand the Bible. And everybody claims to have the spirit. There are in South Africa 1,000 different sects and denominations among the whites. 1,000 different sects and denominations among the whites. And they all claim to have got the spirit. There are 3,000 sects and denominations among the Africans. 3,000. And they all got the spirit. And these thousand white denominations are all going in different directions. And they all got the spirit. The 3,000 African denominations, they all claim the spirit and they all also going in different directions. Now how are we going to arrive at truth? Unless we use our God-given intelligence. Because the one man says, look, there is a trinity in the Bible. The other fellow says, there is no trinity in the Bible. One fellow says that when you take this piece of bread, it becomes the flesh of Jesus. When you drink the wine, it becomes the blood of Jesus, literally, in a mystical way. The other fellow says, no, it is metaphorical. Now, who has got the spirit? I want to know. Which guy are we going to believe? And as soon as you ask the man, what church you belong to, he doesn't own up. He's interdenominational, so you can't catch him anyway. As soon as you corner him, he says, well, I don't believe that. Look. What I have done, I have spoken for an hour and a half, simple, straightforward language, proving to you from the Christian scriptures that the thing that they are alleging didn't happen, didn't happen, didn't happen. Christ was not crucified, he was not crucified, he was not crucified. An amazing thing, nobody is asking, questioning me on what I said, not one. Isn't it amazing? What is the Spirit doing to them? What does the Spirit do to people? That you are not listening simple, basic English I'm speaking to you. I'm quoting you verses after verses. This is what Jesus said. And you don't contradict me. You want to say Peter said this and Corinthians said this and this guy said this. What is all this? What is happening to you? Where is the, why is the spirit deserting people? I says, please ask me direct questions on what I spoke and I'll give you a direct answer. There are more than 2 billion Christians around the globe. Guys, well, he clearly didn't answer the question, guys. Like, I think he diverted from it. He asked a straight question. Do you believe you can understand the Bible without the Holy Spirit? He's supposed to, like, answer the question, but clearly we saw he didn't answer it. So, what's the title of this again? Christian claims you must have the Holy Spirit before you can understand the Bible. Guys, let's go through it, guys. But I feel Ahmed that didn't answer this question. I think most have the Holy Spirit, though. So, let me know your opinion, guys. And they are separated into thousands of denominations. According to a survey by the Center for the Study of Global Christianity, estimations show that there are more than 200 Christian denominations in the U.S., and a staggering 45,000 globally. So, why does Christianity hmm. have so many branches? Most mainstream Christian denominations and churches accept and claim to have the Holy Spirit. The difference is in how all the various denominations define their expectations and evidences of how the Holy Spirit is manifested in the life of a believer. So, you have one group who acts crazy and claims it's the Holy Spirit and another group denying the power of God and also claims it's the Holy Spirit. It is a known sickness for born-again Christians. Once a Christian becomes a born-again, he believes he is automatically filled with the Holy Spirit. An important point to note is that all these various denominations claiming to have and be inspired by the Holy Spirit for all their actions and beliefs are all moving in totally different directions. From amongst what these thousands of Christian denominations have disagreements on are basis for doctrine, creeds and confessions, inspiration of scripture, the trinity, the nature of Christ, the resurrection of Christ. The Guys, this is actually going outside the, the context. Sin, the concept of atonement and the nature of me. So, let's talk about their disagreement on the concept of Trinity. First point to note is that 
The word Trinity is nowhere to be found in the entire Bible. So, it's very clear that it's not a biblical concept, but we'll discuss it for clarity. The mysterious doctrine of the Trinity has created divisions since the earliest days of Christianity, and those differences remain in Christian denominations until today. Denominations like Unitarian Universalist Christians, Jehovah's Witnesses, Christian Science, Armstrongism, Christadelphians, Oneness Pentecostals, Unification Church, Down Bible Students, Unity School of Christianity, and the Church of God International all reject the concept of Trinity in their version of Christianity. All other denominations that accept the Trinity all have a uniquely different approach to it and different concepts of belief for it. You have denominations like the Roman Catholics. They believe the Father is God, the Son is God, and the Holy Spirit is God. And yet, they are not three gods, but one God. And they are co-eternal and co-equal. It is important to note that Jesus taught monotheism, and he is quoted to have said in the Gospel of John, chapter 14, verse 28, my father is greater than I. That alone explodes the Trinitarian myth. So, saying a person must have the Holy Spirit before being able to understand the Bible should bring up some follow-up questions like, which Holy Spirit is recommended? The Holy Spirit of which Christian denomination should a person accept? We can therefore only resort to our God-given intellect to understand comprehend and fully grasp God's message to humanity as the Quran and Bible have taught. Assalamu alaikum. Guys, Fulifat is talking calmly, guys, and sounding like he knows what he's saying, but I can clearly say he is wrong. Like the guy that talked in the last part, like I think they will not be you. Like I can clearly say he is wrong. Like the simple question there was, do you need the Holy Spirit to interpret the Bible? And he was given some fact that was not needed. Like I feel Christians, we believe in a lot. Like you Muslims, guys. Like I just checked out the video recently, and someone was saying they are not true Muslims. They, they are this, they are this, and actually caused a lot of query my conversation, guys. So, like, I feel everyone believe what they believe in. It's your choice, guys. Like, some people might be going to a Roman Catholic church, but they believe what the Pentecostal believe. Like, I feel like it has been bringing down to the simplest form. You have the chance to read the Bible. You have the chance to read the Quran. You have the chance to read it and know which you want to follow. Like, you just, I feel a lot of people allow people to think for them. Like, you just see something online, like, I want to just believe it. I, I don't like when someone is taking just a text from the Bible and trying to bring out the story from it. Like, if you want to say something, like, really true. Like, there's no way you can understand it. Like, it's like saying you want to be a doctor and you just take a course and you expect to understand everything. Like, you sort of read the full test so you can get the understanding. Like this guy, like, he was talking about God. <sighs> like, I understand. The Trinity isn't... That I have to make research about it, but I believe in the Trinity. I believe... God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. This is what I believe in, guys. Like, it's fact. And I have some videos for you guys, guys. Like, I, I, I have been doing my research. Like, I have a lot of videos in store. Like, I'm going to be releasing some series of videos soon, guys. Part 1, Part 2, Part 3, Part 4, Part 5, Part 6. Like, so much I recommended for me today. And I can tell you guys, those videos opened my mind a lot about Muslims, guys. Guys, we're going to do a lot in this channel, guys. Don't forget to like, subscribe to my channel. Guys, hit that notification bell. We'll see you next time, guys. Bye.